I love stories about people who rage against the machine, like Cool Hand Luke or um, Randall P. McMurphy in One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, and just this idea of kind of pushing back against your institution that you're trapped in. So what would that be like if we were under occupation? And we lost. And we're going to avoid telling that story, the invasion story, and tell the story of what it's like to live in a society that's under occupation. I wanted us, as much as they are our antagonists and our occupier, I wanted us to relate to them. Um, and, and actually, in a way, they're the worst of us. But when in the, in the moment in the film that we do see them, in a way, they're the kind of, the sort of sick, feeble, malignant version of us, of, of us. Uh, I want a lawyer. You and I both know those days are gone. He's John Goodman, <laughs> so what can I say? I mean, he, he, John's a very interesting cat. He's kind of, he's an actor's actor. He's somebody who, who uh, is, is, a, is, a, is an absolute workhorse in terms of like somebody who really believes in, 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 in delivering and, and finding a part and finding a character and then just, just going there. Mulligan is a policeman. He works for the corrupt government. He's a man who believes in law and order. He's fundamentally a good person, but he's been undone by very, very dubious moral choices that he's had to make. And is he trying to lure him to become an informer against militants? Or is he trying to protect him and look after him? As well?